Welcome back to our second half hour. Most of us don't know how to change the color on our television, so we want to tell you this is not the color problem of your TV set. That water is actually really green. Health officials have declared a water quality advisory on Lake Winnebago near Oshkosh because of that blue-green colored algae. And as Fox 11's Eric Peterson reports, the warning may last all summer long. It's in the backwater channels in Oshkosh. It's in the area bays, too. Blue-green algae has bloomed on the western shore of Lake Winnebago. Fisherman Ron Vanderzanden says he's seen it before. There's a lot of green, but then it turns blue. It's real thick. If you go through it, you'll see a path going through it. DNR water experts say blue-green algae is a dangerous bacteria. That can produce toxins, and those toxins can cause symptoms, uh, itchy eyes and rashes, uh, sometimes respiratory issues. And if ingested by humans or pets in sufficient quantities, it can make you very ill or even kill pets. Rob McLennan says algae blooms may be worse this year. From the frequent storms, uh, we get runoff from city streets coming through storm sewers, ditches and streams draining agricultural land, all add nutrients into the water that grow algae and blue-green algae. Signs are posted at Oshkosh boat landings. People are asked to avoid water skiing, wakeboarding, and tubing near the algae. The DNR says what may be here today may be gone tomorrow. They say high winds can blow the blooms right across the lake. Across the lake, High Cliff State Park officials reported no extra algae Tuesday. In the meantime, fishermen say they'll endure. Well, I don't like it. Nobody else does. And warning signs will stay up at area boat landings. They should be uh, advised to be cautious of blue-green algae throughout the summer months, not just when they hear something from the health department. In Oshkosh, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Lake Winnebago is not alone with this problem. Other lakes like the Petenwell Flowage in central Wisconsin and Tainter Lake in the western part of the state also suffer from this blue-green algae.